So the first section is the biggest and the most daunting is the biology section for the DAT. I ended up getting a 22 on my, on my actual test. And I would say I'm like a little disappointed with that score. On my practice tests across the board, I was averaging like a 24 in biology. And so to see a 22, I was, I wouldn't say like unhappy. I was just like unimpressed with myself. <laughs> um, I would say the practice questions are most similar to questions you'll experience on DAP booster practice exams. And some are very similar to the question banks. However, the question banks for DAP booster go a little too far in depth, in my opinion. So I would, um, if you're practicing the questions bank, question banks, don't get too hung up on missing any particular question, if, especially if it's like very a specific detail that's like 10 feet deep in the question. Like you want to stay near the surface of uh, depth of knowledge. So I'd say Booster was the most representative. However, Bootcamp was also very helpful. I feel like on whether you check on like YouTube or the pre-dental Reddit, you'll hear people talk about um, how similar or level of difficulty Booster was to Bootcamp. Some people say Booster's easier and Bootcamp's harder. And on my practice test, I saw virtually no uh, difference in my score between a Booster and Bootcamp practice test. Um, if anything, I was going a little higher on bootcamp than it was on booster. Um, so just take, take feedback, even my video feedback with a grain of salt, um, back to the biology section. So for biology, I would highly, highly recommend starting the Anki deck sooner than later. Um, you can get boosters or bootcamps Anki deck. Um, there's a million videos out there on YouTube, um, for how to use Anki, how to utilize it properly. And so definitely look those up, get started on Anki deck today. Uh, most like eight, 10 or 12 week study schedules for the DAT will have you start somewhere around day 30. I do not advise that. I would recommend starting sooner than later that we can start chipping away at this giant iceberg of biology content. Um, for my personal studying, I mainly focused on the question banks with Booster. There's so many questions. There's I'm sure well over 2000 questions. And I mainly use those as um, study material. Now, what I would do is I wouldn't, I, I would watch about half of the videos and realized I knew a lot of this material. And so I didn't want to really waste my time watching any more lecture videos about it. So instead I hopped straight into the question banks and um, kind of got a gauge for how well I was retaining that or how well I remembered it from when I learned it a few years ago in my classes. Um, and like I said previously, you're going to come across questions that are so in detail that you genuinely or you probably won't need to know. So I'd focus more on the breadth over depth. I'm sure you've heard a lot. So I focused on those practice questions and practice practice or questions from practice tests. And then if I would miss a biology question, I would make my own Anki card of that question with the full explanation provided. That way in my review, if I was missing, then I would if I was missing the question, then I could see the full explanation and get it right the next time. For biology on my real test, um, same things practice test, 40 questions. Um, you see it's the first questions you'll see on the DAT, so you might be a little nervous going into it. Take a deep breath, it's gonna be okay. Um, if you've done plenty of study or plenty of practice tests, it's gonna be nothing like you haven't seen before. It's gonna be nothing new, uh, I should say. But I will say on my particular test, I had about six questions that were, I would say fairly difficult. I, th I thought about 30 of them were pretty easy. Um, very, very surface level biology questions. Four, I felt like okay about, and then those six, I feel like were pretty tough. Um, I think that's why I got a 22 is I think I maybe like split them right down the middle or um, got some right and some wrong out of those. Um, so I would recommend to, to not make that same mistake as me. I would recommend on starting the Anki deck sooner, the provided Anki deck with the, um, the material there. Um, for my Anki, I started the biology deck and stopped because it, for me, it was a little overwhelming looking at the what, like 3000 or 2000 cards in one deck and not adjusting the settings. I would not advise that. I think that I could have gotten a much better score in biology if I would have taken the time to actually memorize all of the biology Anki cards. 
So if you're looking to get a higher score than 22 on the bio, I recommend starting early with the Anki.